TCU 55, Oklahoma 24. What a ball game. Sonny Dykes called the game of his life. Just absolutely lit Brent Venables and that defense on fire. Absolutely on fire. Uh, Holy Sal jumped in. Clemson should be in the playoffs, to be honest, instead of with that schedule. Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, there's, there's no reason why they should not be in the playoffs. I mean, bottom line. Bottom line. Uh, looking at... The overall stuff, uh, TCU was plus five on this. Uh, they demolished Oklahoma uh, 55 to 24. They won yardage at 668 to 355. They won yards per play uh, 8.9 to 4.4. They won third downs 50% to 33%. They ran the ball for 361 yards to only 179 for Oklahoma. Had one turnover, drive points, which are drives of 60 plus yards, 48 to 21. They had 48 points of drive yards, uh, or excuse me, they had 48 drive points in the first three quarters. They didn't even do anything in the fourth quarter, and they demolished Oklahoma. Like, that is an Oklahoma team that is coached by a defensive guru, right? And I understand that it's going to take him a little bit of time to get his kind of a roster in there, but we have seen Sonny Dykes' offenses go up against good defensive teams and struggle. Coaches find a way to, uh, yeah, <laughs> Holy Sal jumped in and said, Garrett Riley, the offense coordinator for TCU too. Yes, agreed. Uh, I, I'm just saying, Sonny Dykes, uh, his offenses, and they over the years, they have been able to be schemed against. And there was no scheme in this situation. Uh, it was just overall brutal. Overall brutal. Uh, Dylan Gabriel did go out in this game, uh, relatively early on a pretty vicious hit uh, that, I mean, maybe was completely unnecessary. But at this point, the game was completely, completely out of hand. It, that had nothing to do with this final score because TCU had 41 points in the first half. I mean, they demolished this team. It was it was never a game. It, I think it was 41-17 to 17 when that happened, or 34-17, to 17, whatever. It, it, TCU... Showed no signs of slowing down whatsoever. Uh, I don't think Oklahoma was going to keep up with Dylan Gabriel. Without, uh, we'll see whether or not Dylan Gabriel gets to play next week against Oklahoma, excuse, uh, against uh, Texas. Uh, Davis Bevel came in and looked eh, about the same, I guess. Seven out of 16, 50 yards, three sacks. Um, he was not great. Uh, the yards per play, definitely less. Uh, I think... At that point in the game, once it was 41-17, to 17, it was just, let's try not to get anybody else hurt. Kind of what it felt like. This is a weird Red River that we're going into. And now TCU is undefeated and going to undefeated Kansas. I mean, the Big 12 is all over the place. I mean, just completely all over the place. Uh, again, you look at the win probability. I mean, it favored Oklahoma early. And then it went, I mean, it jumped to TCU quick. I mean, just very, very quick. You look at the expected points that's over on the right side of your screen, and man, I mean, how crazy? How absolutely crazy is that? Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't even know what to say about it. I really don't. It is mind blowing to see this because uh, you don't expect it from Oklahoma, especially against TCU. I mean, they have just, and, and I'll tell you what this tells me is that Gary Patterson was asleep at the wheel for a long time. I mean, a very, very long time because this TCU roster did not exactly change a ton other than they lost some of their best players, and here we are. And and for whatever reason, they are playing insanely well. So, yeah, a little, uh, little shocked at what ended up happening in this one. Um, it's not like Oklahoma didn't have enough time or enough plays. I mean, they, they ran plenty of plays. I think they had 81 scrimmage plays to TCU 75. It's just TCU was mind-blowing. Uh, 82 Atlantic said, I'm surprised that TCU was a six-and-a-half-point dog. Yeah, but when you look historically, when you look at what Oklahoma had done thus far this season, other than against Kansas State last week, um, you know, Double O'Neill said TCU for the playoffs. Hey, you keep winning ball games like that. I, I, there's nobody else on the schedule that I would be afraid of if I'm TCU. So anything's possible. I mean, Max Duggan is playing out of his mind right now out of his mind. 
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.